Merrifield's average for the six hours, nearly 48 miles an hour. Seen the new models for 65, how about the new range from Vauxhall? The Victor Series 101 is longer, lower and sleeker, over 30 to the gallon and more powerful than previous Victors. Got that no polishing finish too. Roots have made an addition to the limousine field with their big Humber Imperial. Top speed over 100 with armchair comfort for five. But who wants the other three? The new Skoda from Czechoslovakia takes five people too with reclining front seats, all independent suspension and a one litre four cylinder engine at the rear. BMC have inflated their 1100 into an 1800 with the same fluid rubber suspension. But for every car, the proof of the pudding's in the eating. We've been devouring quite a few miles looking at some of the new models in their proper element. The new 1800s give a genuine maximum of 90. I'm told they're not too thirsty on petrol either, around 38 at a steady 50. The hydroelastic suspension keeps you on the level for rough going or cornering. Five main bearing engine sits sideways as in the minis and 1100s. 17 cubic feet of space in the boot across the full width of the body. And room for three comfortably in the back so you don't really have to crowd up on the girlfriend. Where do you like the engine? The NSU Spider has its boot in the front. At the back, it has a boot. No, the Vancouver rotary piston engine is so compact it can go under the floor. This revolutionary power unit has a capacity of only 500 cc's, the same as a large motorbike, but it pushes the spider along at over 95 miles an hour. NSU, a German company, is the first to develop the Vancouver engine for a motor car. Their enterprise could herald the end of conventional piston engines. We flew to Germany especially to photograph the spider in action. Also with its engine in the back, the Singer Chamois, a super version of the Hillman Imp, and the first small Singer since the war. All independent suspension and many additional refinements give this new baby the panache of much larger luxury cars. In fact, it underlines the demand by Joe Motorist for more comfort and refinements, even if it means paying more. If you want prestige as well as refinement, how about the Vandenpla Princess? Some people, more conscious of snob appeal than precision engineering, may be disappointed that there's only one discreet letter R to indicate that this princess has a four-litre Rolls-Royce power unit. You can't always be lifting the lid to show the Joneses those two letters on the engine. Anyway, at under £2,000, it's an excellent marriage between price and prestige. Stand back, here's another four-litre costing under 2000 one of the fastest production cars on the market. With a new 4.2 litre engine, the E-Type Jaguar has increased power and flexibility, but wears the same sleek body shell as previous models. Come for a trip in the surge of acceleration of a real man's motor car. Not to 60, 7.4 seconds. Selecting gears like slicing butter. Not to 100, takes a mere 17.7 .7 seconds. Top speed, 150 miles an hour. 